Hi, Christopher. How are you feeling today? Doc, why is it that when people see me, they say stuff? They say stuff like, oh, he's so perfect, and he's got the perfect life. He's so lucky. He's got a nice car, all this money. And they wish that they can live my life. But why? What's so good about my life? I mean, think about it. I mean, you may think my life is perfect, but in reality, it's the complete opposite. Let me tell you. That glow of happiness you see in my face, that's just the light emitted from the eternal fire of despair that is permanently sketched in my heart. All my despair started when I was like five years old. It was my dad. My dad wouldn't even hug us. Forget hugs. That man wouldn't even say hi. Now, before all this, he come home from work. He spent time with us, hug us, kiss us, be an actual father. But now, he just came home with a bottle of Bacardi and drank. My dad will drink it till he got completely drunk. So drunk that his clothes reached from the stench of alcohol. It was hard for us to even walk past him without having to hold our breath. I was always a different one in school. All little kids would anticipate the arrival of the weekend. I sit and wish that it never came. Because I just knew that my dad would fight with my mom. All weekend, for no reason. All weekend. They would just fight. And fight. And fight. And all I could ever do is just lay my head in my pillow and cry about it. I still hate thinking about the last time I was even with my dad. That day he came home. He was already drunk. Anyway. As usual, he began to smash things. He smashed pretty much everything in his way. TV. Table. Microwave. The dog. I mean, shit, wow. But my mom, she tried to stop him this time. You know what he did? He did the unthinkable. He spat in my mother's face. <laughs> Ow! What a fucking coward! Fucking pussy! How fucking dare you spit in my mom's face? And that's not all. He, he took his scarf off. And he started to strangle my mother. Right in front of me. <laughs> I called the cops and he finally let go, but what if I wasn't there? What if I what if they were there alone? He would have strangled my mother. So do you still think my life is perfect? Well, it's not. It's not. Okay. Mm-hmm. That happy smile you see on my face every day is just a mess. A mess that covers the ugly face. Sadness that's permanently sketched in my heart. So don't wish for my life because it's not perfect. Just do like I did. Forget all those bad memories you got, but cherish the good ones and live your life to its fullest. Time's up. See you next week.